the highest rated local weather app from the App Store today. Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Ron Rhodes. It is 20 minutes into the 12 o'clock hour, 20 minutes into this Monday afternoon, and after a wet start to the day, things are drying out, and I like to see that. I'd like to see a little more sunshine right now. We are going to be seeing some later on. I don't think it's going to really make a difference uh, for the storms tonight, whether we see sun this afternoon or not. So you don't have to worry too much about that. I do think we're going to see enough sunshine to get that temperature up to around 80 degrees for high later on today. That's our Superior Ag camera downtown Evansville. Look at the dark clouds hanging over Owensboro, which has seen some sunshine today, and the temperature actually warmed up into the low 70s as a result of that. And you can see also the traffic on uh, Highway 41. That's the Henderson Strip, our Heads Construction Tower cam shot looking down onto that strip. Uh, 69 degrees right now. The wind's picked up a little bit. It's going to be mainly southwest in that 10 to 20 mile per hour range. We've got that right now. West southwest at 11. A uh, little cooler temperatures to the north where we do have the clouds out. 64 Lagodi, 65 French Lick. Uh, not doing a run. I don't see a 66. But look at the temperatures in the 70s. Every reporting location, save one, that's Henderson, reporting temperatures in the low 70s right now in Western Kentucky, where we're seeing a better dose of sunshine out there. Check it out. Speaking of Western Kentucky and Henderson in particular, uh, this is from Nikki Vowles last night. Wow. I mean, we had a really good looking sunset just before. We it really, we ended a pretty gray day uh, that got enough breaks in the clouds, and that's all you need. Just need a few breaks in the clouds to get a good looking sunset, and that's spectacular. Nikki, thank you so much, and I love there's the railroad bridge silhouetted up against that sky, looking good like this. In three, Two, one, funky. Today's funky fruit, jumping carrot. There's one leg, there's the other leg. Got some arms in there too, kind of flailing about. Uh, Billy Jolly got that very funky carrot, and I love a little dirty. That's all right, that's the way it works. Jumping in mud, maybe. Live first morning Doppler radar, all's quiet now. We did see a decent amount of rain earlier today, and yesterday we had a quarter of an inch, but really not adding up to much today. Just a few showers that were out there, and now you're looking at a two hour, or one hour loop rather, and we've got next to nothing as the rain showers continue to push on out of the picture. And we did see like one lonely little shower kind of work its way out of Perry County. Uh, Leopold, just north of there, had a little shower too, down to the south. We had a little bit of rain showing up around Dixon earlier, just to the east, and now they've kind of fizzled out as they've moved into McLean County. Didn't even make it to Davis County, so again, not much out there. You see the clearing now, St. Louis on down into the mid-Mississippi Valley. They've had plenty of rain down in uh, Middle Tennessee. Nashville has seen some showers and thunderstorms. We told you about the tornado, or at least a possible tornado, that was in Tompkinsville, not far from Bowling Green, and also down in Atlanta. So it's been a very stormy morning for a lot of folks just down to our south. However, for us tonight, let's go ahead and look at it. There's a closer look at Atlanta, and they've still got a couple of warnings out there, and they have that uh, tornado watch this out. But as far as our con we're concerned here in the tri-state, still a few showers possible out there over the next hour or so, but few and far between. Clouds are going to be breaking up. A little more sunshine down to the south. We've already seen that. But I do think we get a decent amount of sunshine this afternoon, especially mid to late afternoon, before more clouds roll in. The latest run on our future tracker, and believe me, the models have been back and forth. A lot of these models not really jibing together. We know that storms are coming, but it's a matter of where are they going to be developing? Where is it going to be worse? And it looks like if this verifies, and uh, we have not seen this with earlier runs, we're not really seeing this a whole lot with other models, but a Boeing line of thunderstorms kind of pushing through western Kentucky, and that's between 7 and 9 o'clock. And by 9.30, the leading edge is where it's going to be right there on the eastern edge of the tri-state. And really, it's going to be along that uh, leading edge, if that does develop, where we have the greatest threat for severe weather. Now, that's going to be moving out of the picture. Other models are indicating around midnight some thunderstorms developing right along the Ohio River and kind of working away to the east and to the southeast from there. And as far as future tracker shows, we got plenty of thunderstorms out there first thing tomorrow morning. Get a bit of a break during the day, middle of the day, only to have more showers and thunderstorms firing back up. And if the atmosphere recovers enough, we could be seeing some more severe weather, an isolated threat for our Tuesday late afternoon and evening. So could be a couple of active nights. I think tonight will certainly be active, and I think it's going to be worse of the two will be tonight. And then as we head into Wednesday, things are looking a whole lot better. As far as rainfall amounts, could be plentiful in some areas. If we do get that Boeing line, I think we're going to see some heavier amounts down to the south in western Kentucky. One thing that is somewhat encouraging, we still have a severe threat for the entire tri-state, but no longer the enhanced risk for the tri-state. It's been downgraded to a slight risk. And what does that mean? Still strong damaging winds are possible. Doesn't look like we'll be seeing wind gusts better than 70 miles an hour. That should stay down to our southwest. And we could see an isolated tornado or two. And these are the threats right here. 
5% chance tornado, 5 or should say 15% chance for hail for most of the tri-state. And as far as that wind damage, uh, we could be seeing uh, that 30% chance is going to be down to the south, uh, west of us. So that's good news for us. Still a 15% chance, though, of those damaging winds here in the tri-state. High today is going to be upper 70s to around 80. I think we'll see enough sunshine to hit 80 degrees here in Evansville. Over the next seven days, temperatures are going to be uh, cooling off midweek after we get past the thunderstorms we have tonight. Also, the threat for thunderstorms we have tomorrow night as well into the 60s for highs Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We've got the pet of the day coming up right after this. Stick around.